Hi everyone, welcome back to Mrs. Susu's Kitchen. I'm coming again today uh, to talk to you guys about some holistic living, um, to talk about, you know, some alternatives to using uh, pharmaceutical medicines. Um, I guess this is this will be beneficial to everyone, to every human being of every hue, of every color. But um, like I said before, I'm a black woman. I live in a black household. So I know about the black African issues that we have going on. So that is what I'm going to address this uh, topic on today or any topic on my channel. All right. So before we get started, I do just want to say thank you to everyone that just takes the time to listen to my video. Um, I know some of my videos, we can't agree to disagree. I know that sometimes my videos... Um, you know, we just, you just got trolls and haters that want to hate. But to everyone that is coming on here with an open mind, open heart, and listening to my videos, commenting on my videos, you know, uh, sharing my videos, I appreciate everything that you guys are doing. And um, like I said before, I don't do this for likes. I don't do this for status. I don't do this for mon monetization. I do this because I want my experience that I have to get out to someone that may be in need. So one of the biggest things I want to talk about today, especially within the black community, is our health. We do tend to be on the unhealthy side, and there are many reasons to why we uh, choose to eat unhealthy as a black community. Um, you know, a lot of our black people across the diaspora live in places, especially here in America, uh, what we where we call like to call food deserts, and that's basically what happens. Um, when you go into a black community, there's not a lot of businesses that are going to that area um, with better food options. So a lot of times you're going to have corner stores selling junk food, selling the, the flaming hot Cheetos with the hamburger meat and the, and the cheese in the bag. You know, y'all know this. Like I said before, I lived in Chicago for 10 plus years. I know the ratchetness when it comes to the food and the food deserts that goes on. And it's just it's just so so horrible because... You know, I'm going to give credit to the south side of Chicago. There was a vegan restaurant over there on 79th Street. I can't remember the other cross street it was. But if you go on 79th Street, there's a vegan restaurant that's been there for like years that actually has good vegan food. But, you know, it's just a it's a diamond in the rough. Like, you know, it's, it's like one of those restaurants right beside every Euro stand or every Polish stand or every Maxwell street house stand. So it's like... When it comes to us as black people eating better, we definitely need to start, um, you know, doing it for us. Because like I said before, there's nobody else out here that's going to do anything for us. So what I want to talk about today is the, um, uh, the first topic I want to talk about was um, basically there are a lot of holistic doctors who are dying suddenly. Um, in some cases, they are older people, you know, where just nature has taken, taken its course and they die naturally. But for this uh, article I came across here, this young lady, she's been documenting all these holistic doctors who are dying and they're dying of unnatural causes like crazy car accidents, suicides, all sorts of crazy stuff. But when you look at these doctors' lives, they were, they, they, they were happy, they were, were loving, they were... You know, they, they weren't depressed or suicidal. So, you know, this young lady here, she went into, um, you know, she did a documentary about all the whole list of doctors that are, that are dying left and right. We all know about Dr. Siba here. He is a, um, he, he's a very prominent holistic doctor in our, in our black community. Rest in paradise, Dr. Siba. I, um, actually came on to Dr. Siba later in, later in the game, like right before his death. So um, I'm now get, really getting into his teachings of how healthy eating and healthy living is, is beneficial to our black people, our black spirit. Um, but here's just a rundown of all the doctors that she has documented, I think over the last four to five years, that have died, like mysteriously. Um, and all these doctors were holistic doctors. They ran uh, medical practices where they were giving people holistic treatments for cancer, all types of debilitating diseases that, that they're, they're cures for. And um, they've all basically, they, all these people in this picture are dead. They are no longer here on this earth. And they have, they have all died over some type of, you know, mysterious death. So I want to give you guys a rundown of how serious it is when it comes to these pharmaceutical companies not wanting you to have the information that you need to have to make your body better. Cuz I've been saying it for years, um when you do take pharmaceutical medicines, they are, they are not 
there to make you better. They are to keep you at a point of sickness so that you, that you, that you can constantly keep going back to the doctor and you can constantly keep going back to the, the pharmaceutical um, Walmart, CVS, or wherever to get these pills over the counter because that's how these pharmaceuticals make pharmaceutical companies make money they don't make money off of your 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 wellness they make money off of your sickness so if you guys want to get more information if you guys want to read this article to get some more information about holistic doctors and their deaths uh by all means just come to this link here up here at the top you know you can pause it to to get the link or you know just go to DuckDuckGo or to any search engine and just put in um this title here and it'll pull it right up for you uh but but yeah definitely read that because once you read this article and see how these doctors are dying like left and right and they're strictly holistic doctors it, it's going to wake you up and realize like what is going on with the pharmaceutical industry so that's that first article we want to step on there Secondly, um, I want to talk about a couple books that I've been reading um, to really, you know, get you off of that pharmaceutical path and get you into the path of, of being more, you know, um, healthy towards your body and finding alternative medical solutions to help your body, not to bring your body down. So this is a great book written by a black woman. I do believe she was um, a mentor under Dr. Siba, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, I think she was. That's what I read here. So yeah, please um, go and purchase this young lady's book. I purchased her book um, digitally through Amazon. Don't judge me, please. I hate Amazon, but unfortunately, her her books were not in the um, the Google Play Store, so I had to get it through them. But yeah, whenever you guys get a chance, just yeah, just go ahead and get that book, man. Because even if you don't read it today, it is still something good to have in the long run. Because they they completely go in about you know the ecosystem and plants and medicinal herbs um alkaline plant food which is something big that dr seba talked about and sometimes i know people say dr seba he was um he was going a little a little too too hard on it because you gotta understand if we are not used to having a vegan diet or eating a lot of fruits and vegetables you just can't go cold turkey off of meat it's not going to happen meat is like crack Meat and sugar is like crack. You just can't go cold turkey off of it. So some folks are talking about, well, we just can't go all natural. And it's true. But you have to start taking steps to gradually remove that meat from your system. So in my household, we have two nights where it's just fish and um seafood. Uh, then we have a night where it's just chicken. We have one to two beef nights. And that's really it. Other than that, we are strictly just vegetables, fruits, breads, rice, you know potatoes and things of that nature because the meat my goodness gracious the meat here in america is horrible horrible and that's why i advise people to travel and get outside this country and go and taste food somewhere else because you'll notice a huge difference but like i said before yeah if you guys um have a kindle account even if you guys don't have a kindle account i think you can purchase the book um you know the paper ver paperback version of the book also it's a little bit more expensive than the digital version but um there are options there for you so yeah definitely get this book put it into your uh, library because it is great to have because th this book focuses more so on our black bodies on our african bodies on and on what we need to do to um to get our bodies back right because we're we're failing we're failing as a community all right and this is my google play page i got some books here also um Another good book to get here is um, Herbal Medicine Handbook, which basically this book just breaks down um, medicinal herbs that, that can be used to cure yourself. And there's all sorts of stuff out there in the environment that we are just overlooking because we haven't been taught anything. We've been taught well, when you have issues with insomnia, go and purchase some Tylenol PM when we don't even know what's inside of that. When you can just get some valerian root and get some, some sleep time tea, which is a bunch of herbs that put you to sleep and you're good to go. And then by using those herbs is going to get your body back on a natural cycle of going to sleep and i'm gonna tell you right now a lot of things with insomnia a lot of the reason why we can't sleep is because we're stressed out and we can't turn our brain off but that's another video but if you're having issues sleeping there's definitely alternatives for it so many herbs and stuff that's just right here in the wild that we could pick up and use for our own personal being our own personal betterment so that's another good book to have um the name of that book was uh, the herbal the practical herbal medicine handbook which is a good one to have also um the next one that i i picked up also was the um 
Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs. And uh, this book here is, is another book just like the previous one I just showed you, where it just breaks down all the herbs in the environment that we have at our disposal. And it just tells you how it can be used. Now, this book here, it goes a little bit deep in with, you know, the, the Wicca and stuff like that. And when I first got the book, I was like, I ain't practicing none of that. But then when I got into the book, it just started reading every single plant that they have here from A to Z. It was just too, it was just too good to, to mess up. I have this inside my house right now, Anise. So that's another good book to have to your, um, to your collection. There are other books out there like, um, encyclopedias for herbs, but like I said in one of my previous videos, I come from a long line, a long family of herbalists. Um, my grandmother, she was a herbalist. Uh, my auntie was one. I just found out that another one of my aunties, she was a huge herbalist that, that actually helped one of my cousins overcome some symptom that he was having. And he's been on that same routine. And that was like back in like the eighties when he started doing that. And he hasn't had no issues since. So I just come from a long line of herbalists of, of uh, black women that just look towards nature for healing. Um, and so this is why this is such a huge um, inspiration for me because th this is my ancestry. So that's another good book to have also. So what I wanted to come in and do is talk about some of the herbs that I have inside my, uh, cupboard that may be helpful to you guys and your family. Um, and, you know, basically, if if you have any issues or concerns, I'm going to show you where you can go to get these herbs that I'm talking about to, to benefit yourself and friends and family. So one of the websites that I go to get my herbs from is a website called Vitacost.com. It's a great website. They, um, they are a completely online store. Um, this is going to be the cheapest place for you guys to come to purchase any of the herbs that I'm talking about on this video or in the future. You can go to your local Walgreens. You can go to like, um, I think it's called the vitamin shop. They have those stores also, but those stores up cost the charge for these herbs is just too, too much. They, they charge like two to three times more than on this website here. So, um, yeah, definitely come on over to Vitacost. Um, so you know that they, they, they have this brand called Nature's Way, which is a brand that I choose to use. They do have a, a bit of cost brand of herbs that you can use also. It's a little bit much more cheaper. They have more sales on it. But I just realized by using the off-brand ones to the Nature Ways ones, that Nature Way works much, much better. Hands down. And even when you look at the back of the label, it doesn't have as much extra ingredients added into there as the ones for Nature's Way. So I would highly advise if you're going to be using these herbs, just, just go the nature's way. That's the best way to go. But Vitacost is the best one. Any, anything, any purchases over forty nine dollars, the shipping is free, and it has standard two day shipping off the chop. If, if even if you order five dollars worth of stuff, standard shipping is going to be two days. And I've been using these guys for years, and they are on point. So one of the first uh, uh, herbs that I want to come in and talk about, and I notice that a lot of people tend to have because we just don't eat good, is um heartburn. Heartburn is one of the biggest things I, I hear from black people across the board. And a lot of times people want to go in, they want to use all these pharmaceutical pills like Tums and Pepto-Bismol, all this other stuff that's just filled with so many chemicals. And it's like, no, no, you don't even have to do that. So one of the biggest things that I do use when it comes to heartburn, uh, indigestion, acid reflux is fennel seed. And um, if anybody knows anybody that's a Pakistani or a East Asian, you would know that after their meals, they, they, they basically eat fennel, chocolate covered fennel seeds. That's basically what they do. And um, I noticed this when I traveled to London and I was eating at a Pakistani restaurant and they had this huge bowl full of like candy. And so, you know, I swiped me up some and I walked out the restaurant and I was eating and I was like, why does it taste like fennel seed? So the guy that I was with, he was like, look, in their culture, they use fennel seed as an indigestion. So when they get through eating and they're bloated, they'll eat a couple pieces of fennel seed and it'll drop everything down instantaneously. So like if you have any issues with heartburn, indigestion, acid reflux, you know, when you get through eating your food, you just feel bloated all the time. Even if you don't eat and you just feel bloated, please purchase some of these seeds. These are the best thing ever in life. I, I battled with a lot of, um, you know, bloat, bloat in this, I guess I could say when I would eat because just, I just don't do good with all types of meats and stuff. So this is the best alternative to have when, if you guys have any type of, um, acid reflux, heartburn, anything like that is fennel seed. 
Um, the next one I would talk about would be aloe vera, which we all know growing up, you know, mama, grandma and them, they always had aloe vera in the house, you know, for cuts and burns. But aloe vera is actually good for any type of constipation. If you guys have issues, um, you know what I'm saying, using the bathroom, doing the number two, poo-pooing, I don't know what the proper word is, definitely get you some aloe vera. Um, a lot of times, I t if you have severe cases of it, try to get... Um, the best type of aloe, the, the liquid kind of aloe vera, but try to get like a strong extract of it because like the moment you drink it, it's going to flush through your system automatically, automatically. But, um, they do have, um, oops, sorry about that. I suppose they had this pulled up. They do have a, a nature's way in aloe vera. They have it in the juice. They have it in the pill. Um, I would prefer to use the pill because it works over time. If you guys are having issues with constipation, always take your aloe vera pills towards the end of the night. Try to try to drink at least one glass or two glasses full of water before you go to sleep. And trust me, by the time you get ready to get up and go to work in the morning, you're going to poo-poo about three to four times and you're going to be good to go. And the good thing about the aloe vera is that once you keep continuously use it, it's going to put your body body back on a regular, um, you know what I'm saying? A regular cycle of using the bathroom constantly. Um, but the one thing I do advise is, is that if you are having constipation issues, it's probably something to do with your diet and you probably got to change your diet and also drink more water. So that's aloe vera. Um, if you're a person like me that, that battles with anemia, like low blood count, especially after giving birth, like before I used to battle with it, but it wasn't as bad as it is now. But after giving birth, I definitely um, have experienced more issues with my blood count. So of course, you know, everybody doesn't like beets. Everybody doesn't like to eat liver and stuff like that to keep your iron up. So this is a great alternative also, which is beetroot. Um, beetroot is basically a capsule of beets. And if you can come here and take about six of these a day, I'm I'm sure, just like my anemia, it'll start to change immediately. So this is a good alternative, which is the beetroot in the capsule to use if you guys don't like to eat beets, which we all don't. You know what I'm saying? If you guys like to eat liver or you guys have a high iron diet, this is a great alternative. Of course, I know you guys are seeing different prices here. This is $16.91. This is $5.66. It's just a difference in the um the milligrams of the uh, plant that's in there. This is a lower count. This is a higher count. That's why the price is different. And in some cases, there'll be more capsules in each one of them. But for the most part, if you do see a more expensive brand, it's because of the milligrams that are inside the capsule that you're taking. So that's why it's a little different. But beetroot is great for low blood count, anemia, anything like that. The next one we're going to talk about is um, for headaches. If you suffer from serious headaches, um, if you suffer from uh, migraines, um, this is a great alternative also, which is feverfew. And actually what you're going to do is you're going to mix feverfew with a willow. Um, mix those two together. So you'll take two, you'll take two willow barks. Then you'll take one of these for your headache. So make sure you get your, your fever few. Like I said before, this is $4.94. They're actually pretty cheap once you look at it. Um, and then the willow bark. Okay. And like I said before, you're, you're going to have... It didn't even pop it up. That's white willow. And be careful, you guys. When you guys are here searching these herbs and stuff, you need to do you need to do some good research because, you know, there, there's a lot of herbs out here that have the same names, but it's not the same thing at all. See, that's white willow. So we need willow bark. And I guess it's not popping up. But anyways, the name of it is Feverfew. And it is willow bark. So those are the two types of herbs that you, that you need to take for your headache. Um, and basically what's going to happen is, is that you take those two pills over time because it is a natural herbal supplement. Um, your headaches are going to start to, de to decrease and hopefully not come back again. But like I said before, if you are, or if you are experiencing heavy symptoms of one thing, if it comes to like you having constipation, you having too many headaches, nine times, nine times out of 10, it is either your diet or lifestyle that's causing those pains to come up. So at the same time of medicating yourself, also looking to change your lifestyle for a better a, a better way of life. Okay, so the next herbs that I want to tell you guys about is Haas. 
and Haas is uh, for your sinuses and allergies. This is what this is for. Um, more so for your sinuses because you know with your sinuses that's when your your nose or it start to have that pressure around your T area around your eyes around your nose you know that's a sinus issue so this so Haas is more so better for the sinus issue but then again if you do have allergies take these pills also because it's going to release your your T area from that pressure but at the same time it'll, it'll alleviate those symptoms that causes the itchy eyes the runny nose and things like that if you are going to the extremes with your your allergies not your sinuses but your allergies um make sure to keep your nose your nasal passage clear or clean do do some type some type of flush to clean it out because it's so much gook and so much debris inside your nose that is causing your allergies to keep popping up so if you have if you ever heard of something called a nanny uh, i think it's a nanny pot i haven't had to use it in years but a nanny pot is a good way to flush your nose any type of saline flush is good also uh, to, to clear your nose or to flush your nose. So if you're having serious allergy issues, look into flushing your nasal cavity and then also taking the Haas pills. It'll, be, it'll make a huge difference. It won't work instantaneously like with most allergy or sinus medicines, but in the next couple of hours, you will start to see a, a huge difference into how um, your allergy or sinus issues are happening by taking the, not the Haas and doing, then doing a nasal flush. Um, the next thing is that a lot of folks tell me they have issues. Um, they have issues sleeping at night. And like I try to tell folks again, you know, sometimes when it comes to you guys having issues with sleeping, it um, it's probably something going on in your in your life that is causing you to stress out to where your brain can't turn off at night. I notice as a fact, my husband cannot turn his brain off for shit and, and it causes him to stress out and be more more tired when he wakes up but after uh taking the, these um these tra traditional medicinals who who i stress you guys to use their tea brand because these are one of those companies that are not just making shit to sell to you to make a profit they're making their teas and they're making their their products to get to you so you can feel much better so my husband he has taken everything up under the sun from melatonin he's taking a uh, tylenol pm extra strength valerian nothing seems to get him to go to sleep after taking the nighty nighttime tea for about five days straight we also went and purchased something called hops and hops is another nature's way herb and hops is basically a muscle relaxer it's, it's a good muscle relaxer to calm you down so what my my husband does is about an hour before he gets ready to go to sleep goes in and makes his tea he pops about two two of the two or three of these hops I, I say instantaneously he's knocked out and like for the past I would say four or five nights he hasn't even taken anything he's just been falling asleep naturally so if you guys are having issues sleeping get you some of these traditional medicinals nighty night tea bags brew you one of these tea bags take you like three or four hops and I'm telling you in about five to ten minutes after you take this you're going to be knocked out sleep and lastly ginger 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 and more ginger ginger is a great alternative um to um and i'm going to say fresh ginger and ginger pills uh ginger peas and ginger you know candies and like ginger teas like this i don't trust them because a lot of these corporations just be making stuff to get you to pay for it. And then sometimes they'll say it's ginger, but it's like only 15% ginger and the rest of it's black tea. So I stress if you guys want to use any type of ginger for basically upset stomachs, I say ginger is a good alternative to Pepto-Bismol. Get you some ginger, some fresh ginger, keep it in your refrigerator, or get you some type of ginger pills. But make sure the milligram amount is very, very high so that when you take it, it can have an effect. But ginger is a great, great, great alternative to any type of um, Pepto-Bismol type of medicines if you guys are having stomach issues. So um, that's basically, basically it. Now, I know there are other people out there who have all sorts of issues. Um... In regards to their body or whatever um, unfortunately with, with my family those are the only issues we have upset stomachs allergies sinuses nighttime issues of that sort if you're a person out here that has some other issues and you're looking for alternative medicines please just come to this website
and just take your time and just look through all these leads because the good thing about this website is is that wherever you see these stars are these are people leaving reviews and the good thing about Viticost is that you, you can't leave a review until you actually purchase a product and, and I'm talking about like purchase the product and it has to be like like two or three months after you purchase the product to when they'll come in here and approve your your review so um yeah just come in here click on them when you get to this uh astragalus you know scroll down here it gives you the supplement facts it lets you know exactly how much is in here so that's 1.41 grams of the astragalus root and that's it there's nothing there's nothing else inside that which is great that's how it should be then, you know, you just come down here and um, and sometimes it'll tell you exactly what it's for, like has been traditionally used to help support immune health. And then, you know, you can come over here and read the reviews also. And people that have been taking the pills for four or five, six years will tell you exactly exactly what it's for. So it looks like this is a pretty good pill herb to take for like immune system health and that's basically it and like you know and if you like have issues with arthritis come here and google like what are good pills to take for arthritis like um i think a uh, kelp is one of the good ones to take for arthritis then you greek is a good one to take so you know you have to you have to assess yourself because the best doctor in your house is yourself that's it nobody else is going to know your body better than yourself so you know you just do assessment yourself and say hey i'm i did these are the issues that i'm having just come in here look for do a google search if it says you need yarrow come in and look at yarrow look at the reviews if they're good man purchase it because because two dollars and 96 cent is nothing in regards to having a healthy body it's nothing at all all right you guys so i just want to come here and talk about that before i go i know youtube is doing a lot of uh censorship or whatever like I said before, you got doctors up here dying left and right. So if just 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 to be on the safe side, YouTube's like, hey, I don't like that video. I want to shut down your whole channel. You guys can find me on Medium. My name is Calico Jackson. I write a lot of articles about crazy shit. You guys can find me there. Um, I'm also on Twitter. My name is G Goody. So if you guys ever lose me anywhere anywhere on YouTube, you can find me there. I also have an Anchor radio station. It wouldn't let me log into my dashboard. But I also have a uh, Anchor FM station also that I, I do a lot of uh, stories on. More so on poli politics in the state of Georgia. But you guys can find me there also. But, um, but yeah, yeah, reach out to me. Like, share, subscribe if you want to. If you don't, not a problem at all. But I'm hoping this video is able to help somebody out out there in the world that is having issues with, you know, everyday pharmaceutical medicine, over-the-counter medicines, and can see that there are alternatives out there for you and that these alternatives work. And they work because there are over 80 doctors dead who have been promoting this lifestyle. All right, you guys, have a great day, and thanks again for listening. 1D.